Oh, uh, Brad going pretty well. I lost to Kepler in winner's finals, so we are currently... Well, I'm going to want uh, somebody to catch up for loser's finals. But now we got Rob versus Boku, though. Snake versus Hero. Going to get right into it. And I believe PS2, you already know the vibes. Who don't like a good old PS2? And from the inception, straight to the menu, 38%. That's some big damage. What are your thoughts on this matchup? What do you feel like Rob should do? Because that's going to be a big factor right there. Oh, yeah, you have no real options <laughs> besides like narrowing up to. Understandable. The good thing is, it is temporary, uh, but by the time it wears off, he's already sitting at 130. It's not healthy percent at all. Uh, and just like that, there it is again. The grenades are now offline. We are playing Nate the Snake. And uh, I am a little curious. Rob does have a 0 suit Samus, so. Deciding not to go for it, saying, you know, I got this snake, it's fine. Oh, what a crouch. Uh, good, finally got some stage control and big conversion, 96%. Snake's a little bit heavy. <laughs> Bounce it back online, but Rob can send the way this out at this point. You don't have too much to lose. You will die to any hit anyway, so plus outside of maybe Accelerado won't really matter um, unless you worry about the up throw of course and good shield there and there is Accelerado so you have to be careful about him dashing in now Snake not the fastest character so if he gets caught he gets caught however there's a lot of projectiles to get through to get caught wow what a clutch air dodge into the up tilt how did he have enough time I'm actually a little shocked there Indeed, and this is simply a snake dilemma. Even without the grenades, it's still having a little bit of difficulty finding a way to close out this side. The B reverse is just immaculate right now. Yeah, definitely big and disjointed. A little bit slow, but uh, he'll get the job done in terms of kill power for sure. Facts. Disjoints, ridiculous. All right, good back here, and this is kind of what you want to do to Hero. If you can get the ledge trapping going and not send him too far out for him to get zoomed, because that's what's scary. Great bounce right there. That, okay, Bob really making this work even without the grenades. Oh, do you see the movement? Little turn around on the F-Tilt and then pop the shield? My goodness. That's going to go ahead and take him out for certain. Said, let me put a little mustard on that. Big F smash. But one thing I know about Boku, he, you can never count him out. He will hit you one time and you just might die. Boku probably be... One thousand percent. So I, Rob cannot afford to feel comfortable um, even with this big lead. The lead isn't that huge, and you can see the buzz of stacking up. He does have Accelerado Oomph and Psych Up, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, tried to go for that L tilt, and that would have done it too. Still has all three buffs online. Oh, 1000%. Even on Shield, that would have deleted uh, Snake, truthfully, because then just an F smash that ledge would have taken him out. Alright, Boku playing a really immaculate neutral right now. Hasn't gotten hit for quite a while now. This, this is the part of his gameplay I really do appreciate. He takes his time and he finds the hits that matter. And that's an underrated skill for a lot of players. Uh-oh. Oh, two up tilts but neither hit. I guess he is not a snake fan. Now, three pac mans though, that would have been fun. Uh, <laughs> don't say that. You know you love pac man I know you're always just joking around. You love Pac. Everybody does. Oh, great job of winning that dash tag. And this is scary. Full Rage Hero. Uh, you take a... 
we're talking maybe two hits, maybe. Just needs to get the Accelerado, or get some hits with this um, Ubwas online. Oh, uh, jab, jab, that's going to be up to Guaranteed. Just saw to Kepler, 160% is the magic number. Now I'm going up to it, going to take him out. And although that was looking really comfortable for Rob, kind of got a little dicey towards the end there. It was a little scary. Sure. Yeah, I forgot about the crit chance too. Dude, on this. I'm about to say one read can just change the game just like that. And, you know, it's a little interesting though. I guess that kind of promotes Hero really playing like a solid neutral, finding those opportunities. But it is a little bit hard to get these hits with Hero, admittedly. Character's really slow, um, at least in terms of like frame data, and it can be pretty difficult to land what you need. But we'll be doing a good job right now with that bounce online. So like the early bounce farming last game, but wasn't too effective. Still got hit pretty hard by these regular areas. Now, although I'm sure that Rob loves the stage as well, I know Boku's a big fan of that middle platform for the up tilts and just for sharking in general, it can be kind of hard to approach. Yeah, look at that, this up beat straight to the platform, we're nice and safe, reset neutral, but the one problem is there is no mana online, so you won't see any buffs for the moment. Good f tilt, and that's going to get him a little bit bad, trying to cancel, trying to find Wow, that was really cool. Uh, I don't say that about Hero often, but the up B into the up tilt, that was clean. That was clean. Got to give it up. Say, uh, if that's something that can be consistent too, that's going to make those uppies I feel very dangerous. Great zoom, able to get out of that situation. Okay. Yeah, I was about to say, yeah, go ahead and if you want to learn how to play Hero, I can recommend two to you. It's going to be Boku, and it's going to be VV. That's the New York Hero and this Michigan Hero, because they both play the character pretty damn well, I, I won't lie. Uh, good down there, go ahead and stuff that attempt to go ahead and follow up. Get a little heal online, but Boku having a little bit of trouble with the grenades, finally finds a bounce. Tries it again. That time, maybe an up smash actually would have done the job there. Oh, and bounce runs out at the wrong time. Uh, unfortunately, I believe that was an attempt to bury it. Yeah, because it, it was a little bit difficult to try to do the roll, obviously. Uh, Rob probably waiting with the up till. It's a little... Lots of traps there. Lots of traps. Wow. Enter. Bounce snake us, man? Oh, I, I have to imagine it's pretty early. It does have a multiplier on it, so it, it got to be pretty, pretty decent. Yeah, I'm... I haven't really seen Rob swing too much into the bounce. Been a few grenades, but even then being extremely careful to try to go ahead and utilize more. Although that time, maybe praying that the bounce will run out too. Because there is a timer on it. You can get that timing, make Hero feel a little bit more comfortable than he really should be. Good stuff going. Oh, really? Zoom with 1%? Or 1 mana? Shazi was able to get it out, but was able to do it. And Rob with the movement right now, just trying to keep this stock as long as possible, get as much off it. Wow, oh, double roll, unfortunately, Boku not able to get that punish because of that. I believe so. I could be wrong, but I, I do think this is the best of three. So Alright. Oh, the wag zoom clutch. Oh, no. RNG sound.